alongside one another, one another and in Manchester. So from each of you, who would you say is the player to watch in this tournament? That's not the best of it yet, that's not the best of it. So... Good morning, as you can probably see, we're geared up today. I've got 15 different bags with me. I've got 100 different cameras. We're off to do a behind the scenes vlog. So today we're following around the Rugby League World Cup team that have brought it to Doncaster. And we're doing a vlog, so look. You're gonna see what it looks like when we do an actual vlog. So we've got two lots of this. You're this as well. Cool, innit? So first stop, we're in a local school where these trophies are getting presented. Here, I'll show you. Look at this. That's the women's trophy. That's the men's trophy. And that's the wheelchair trophy. Alongside one another, one another. And in Manchester, so as you might be able to hear, we're currently in a school, so obviously I can't film with all the kids about and stuff, but we're basically just letting all the kids go and have um, a look at the trophies. They're not allowed to touch them though, and they're having some photos and stuff like that. It's really, really cool, and the kids are like proper excited because these trophies are like bigger than half the kids. In fact, the trophies are nearly bigger than me. And look, Rob's here as well. There he is. I do. I've not spoke to you yet, have I? No. Been here a while. So we're now outside and the kids are going to do a live Q&A with the CEO of the Rugby League World Cup 2021. Now if you hear us say 2021, it's because the Rugby League World Cup 2021 was supposed to happen in 2021. But obviously because of the C word and all the rest of it, it got pushed back. So it's happening in 2022. So it's not people getting it wrong. If you do hear that throughout the course of this vlog or any other content, that is what's happening. But yeah, the kids are all sat now under a tree outside. There's some cameras set up for some like official video and whatnot. Obviously what we're doing today is just behind the scenes vlog because what's better than nice polished produced video? Behind the scenes vlogs, obviously. Vlog life. I need to do like vlog life. That don't mean peace anymore, it means vlog life. <laughs> So that's the first place done. Now we're off to like, it's like a business lunch where we're gonna be talking to more businesses that will be getting involved in or being told how they can get involved in and around the World Cup when it finally comes here in October. So how it's working is Rob's taking control of the vlog for the behind the scenes of today. I'm taking control of our vlog and then we're mixing up some content for social media as well between us and doing loads of like behind the scenes photos and stuff. Okay, so I've brought this for our journey as well today. So this little nifty thing, Right, Rose Hitable Head. David's seen it for the first time, by the way. This you can pull incredible. all the legs out, so you can stand it, right? Stand like it'll stand on your desk or whatever, right? That's not the best of it yet, though. That's not the best of it. So, you can have standard fan feature. Blows air. But, see this big metal circle in the middle? You can turn this one on. So not only do you get the fan, it also makes this cold, and like it puts like a water sort of layer on it, condensation or whatever. It actually gets freezing cold, so give it a second. So that's just a fan. Ooh. But that, that silver bit, that gets cold. So you can put it on like a vein or something that cools it down. That's some science. So what are we here for? A fan. Yeah, no, so we're at the Eco Power now, formerly known as the uh, Keep Mo. A massive sign, it so you don't get it wrong. People still keep calling it Keep Mo. Um, but yeah, we're here now, the trophies are all here. Um, and there's a business networking lunch type thing about to go down. At least I think that's right anyway. So hey, look at this, we're following this van around today. They don't even know about this, by the way. <laughs> they do. Uh, yeah, there you go, World Cup van. It's cool, isn't it? And then we're here now. Welcome to Club Doncaster. World Cup and stuff. Let's go have a look. Do that again. Yeah. I'll do it in behind me. And then at least it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. All three of them. Might be slightly more difficult as well because you're doing portrait rather than landscape. That's better though. That's yeah. more lined up. Let me show that again. I'm do it like that. It's just to make sure that they're happy with what's happening. So, you know things as well like if you were taking a picture of, let's imagine there was a wall, this is a wall, and the person's leaning on the wall kind of stood here, and then there's maybe something in the background that's a line, you'd be stood here and you'd be thinking, right, I want a certain amount in the left column, a certain, the person in the middle, the person there, and you try and get all the leading lines through to the middle. 24, yeah. It's, for taking normal random selfies and stuff, yeah. it's a bit pointless, yeah. but for like... But it's more for like, because uh, we don't have it on the proper cameras, do we? No. Well, I say you have it when you set a shot. Yeah. What are you filming? All educational stuff. There you go. There you go. Just kidding. Look at that. 
Better than our road mic, that. Wow. That's a rugby mic. Yeah, that's cool. How are we going to pick it up and throw it? Oh my god. We, in the last vlog, we're talking about favouritism, and now this. What are you doing here? Well, I had this free food. <laughs> There's the main man, Carl Hall. There's the man, the guy. So as you can see, look, the trophies are here. Loads of people are here. And uh, we're going to hear from the Rugby League World Cup people, like the CEO, maybe a couple of the players, Carl Hall will also be on stage and stuff. So we're just going to catch up like, behind the scenes of all this happening. Obviously, why do I keep saying behind the scenes? You know what we do. The uh, football club here, of course, the Dons, also played for five other English Rugby League teams. Representative level with Junior Kiwis, New Zealand schoolboys, and a club level played uh, three times, uh, three different spells for Doncaster. Hawkinson Rovers, Bradford Northern, Leeds, Featherstone Rovers, York Wasps and club level rugby union for Mosley and Stade Francais as a centre and one hell of a guy. Put your hands together for Carl Hall. So from each of you, who would you say is the player to watch in this tournament? Wow. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I'll say the Samoa halfback Jerome Loy. Getting the YouTube reels of the NRL, these players. The gentleman at the back there. Okay, I'm going to. Are you going to catch him? Well, we'll see. He's real nice. Is that? There we go. I'm What's your name, sir? I'm Bob Anderson. So the kids are going to go and perform a Samoa went down. But it's a secret. No one knows he's happening. Social media team. So Kurt just played a game and won two tickets to the final. So what we're saying is, who's he gonna take, me or Rob? I'll take your boss on a phone. <laughs> <laughs> an iPad and phone going separately. So everyone's favourite part of every vlog. Lunchtime. Dinner time. Oh, yeah. oh, I was expecting you to say dinner time and it come out lunchtime and I thought, yeah, hang yeah. fire, that's a bit cockney. Oh, we're gonna say dinner time and I thought, I'm gonna throw a curveball. And there it is. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to rewatch my face here a bit. Why has he said that? He's supposed to say what's, dinner time. What's lunch? I'm wrong. I tell you what, that's a bit understated, that pal. I sort of walked past everything before I realised I was at the end. If I'm honest, I'm not going to lie to you. I've got some proper. I feel like I'm on day 77 in the Sahara Desert. Looks a lot like the eco power though, doesn't it? Change background. It's like day 77 in the Sahara Desert. <laughs> I don't even touch floor, because that is... Yeah, it's the, uh... I've got a fan. You know a fan I described to you earlier? Yeah, it's just blowing warm air into my face. I thought you were going to say something. Sorry, everybody. Next stop, Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Oh, and it is redders. Look, even Dungy's got his cap on. <laughs> so, we've been asked to carry the... Ch we am, we am, we am. I wish we were. Men's trophy. Look at that. Yeah, Could you wear a photo to come here? Here they come. Here come the beauties. <laughs> there you go. Now you're I need to get back blogger. into it. I will pick it back up. But. So now we're in the, whatever it's called again. Lemurs. So now we're in the Lima bit. And I think the Lima's gonna like run off with the trophies and stuff. I don't really know what's happening right now, but everybody's here. The trophies are here. I've just had to carry it from the other end of the wildlife park. Yeah, carry all the trophies all by myself. Let's see how this goes. I hope the Lima's cause some bother because that'll be funny for the vlog. What's up here? We're about to get attacked. And the winner is. John, John's the person to tell you the story of the last game. Don't touch him, boss. Yeah. That was first play for England. Hi, John. Come here. We're going in now. Let's go on there. That's a big bonus, man. Yeah. It's recording. Thank you. Do you know why it's close? Because I 
don't know how to bloody zoom out. So these guys are sitting up a little bit like what me and Rob do, where they've got the guy filming, the guy talking, and a guy pretending that he can talk to him. If you're wondering why the wildlife park is this empty, David ain't already said to this, because it's Monday. You know the day where it's like 30 something degrees. You know if you're watching this like a week in the future or something, or maybe months in the future, you'll never see it's empty again. Unless you come tomorrow, in which case it's 40 odd degrees, so it's going to be like this again. So there you go, that's why. Kids have done fantastic doing the Siva Tower. Um, that's a wrap boys. Really, really big for us and uh, make sure you'll get your tickets. Turn up to the eco and let's pack that place out. Let's go. Buy <laughs> your tickets. Come into Doncaster. <laughs> we just need you on camera now saying Doncaster's done better than everywhere else. <laughs> he's enjoyed it, so he'll say he's always complimentary. I will, I will say no other host has delivered a dance. Yes, yeah. so was fantastic. Oh, the highlight of the day. And um, we're back at the stadium to collect the car. What a day. Told you it was going to be a banger dinner in yesterday's vlog. If you remember, I said it's going to be a banger. I tell you what though, I did get concerned. I am be saying it was going to be a banger. And then the temperature kept rising. Fiends kept saying they weren't going to open. But you still got a banging vlog. You're well. I did have a bit. I was a bit concerned. Ah, I'm never concerned. Day. Vlog life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not going to stick. Yeah. End of vlog. I'm going to party until I drop. When I begin, I don't know how to stop. I can party on till the morning comes, till the sun goes up, we don't stop, no.